Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture number 50. We have discussed about the initial part of the general perturbation theory and in that the method of parameter variation we are going to apply to solve that problem. So, our problem was r double dot equal to minus del u plus r this is in bracket and this we need to solve. So, this is our basic equation. Let C1, C2 to C6 are the 6 orbital elements or parameters meters at any time. So, in general r equal to r t c 1 c 2 to c 6 will represent solution to the above equation and this we are going to apply on a simple problem to understand how the parameter of variation method works. And here the C i we can write as C i t. So, therefore, immediately from this place we can observe that d r by d t this can be written as dou r by dou t plus dou r by dou c 1 times c 1 dot plus dou r by dou c 2 times c 2 dot where c 1 dot is nothing but dou c 1 by dou t and so on. Okay. Dou c 6 times c 6 dot. method of varying parameters. Slowly varying. So, we have here example problem x double dot plus x equal to r t and this we want to solve. Let us say this is our equation number 1. Solution to equation 1 type x equal to c 1 cos t plus c 2 sin t, but c 1 equal to c 1 t and c 2 equal to c 2 t. Unlike that for x double dot plus x equal to 0, where x equal to c 1 cos t plus c 2 cos t and c 1 is c 1 is a constant and c 2 is also a constant. So, this is the difference. So, if this equation fits into this, if this is a solution of this, so it must be true that c 1 and c 2 they must be function of time. 
Okay. Here in this case, because this is a simple harmonic motion equation, so and we know that the solution to this will be of this type where C 1 and C 2 will appear as a constant. this is our equation number 2 should be function of time as i have indicated here should be function of this is function should be function of time ok. So, this implies taking derivative of equation 2 which is this equation this gives us x dot uh, d x by d t c 1 times sin t with minus sin plus c 2 cos t c 1 dot cos t plus c 2 dot sin t. For the system described by x double dot plus x equal to 0, the equation 3 must have c 1 dot cos t plus c 2 dot sin t equal to 0. So, what does it mean that for this system if we want to apply this solution then we must take this quantity to be 0 as we are aware of that solution to this system is only x equal to uh, x dot equal to the first integral this is minus c 1 sin t plus c 2 cos t this is the first integral and therefore, this must be 0 for this. Okay, so, same concept we are going to apply for the orbit. So, in the orbit if we have the problem of say d square r by d t square plus mu by r q r equal to 0 ok d square r by d t square plus mu by r q by r equal to 0. So, uh, our intention is to apply this kind of formulation to a system where say if, uh, this part also we remove and here we write r t. We want to apply the kind of uh, problem we are solving to this problem which we have written in the form r double dot equal to minus del u plus r. Here then this will rep be represented by some other function let us say f p is the perturbation function. So, we will write it by f p. So, here if we have a system like this d square r by d t square plus mu by r q r equal to 0. So, for this the solution will exist where the already we have done that. So, we have seen that for the that solution the trajectory it turns out to be either an ellipse or an hyperbola or uh, a parabola and there the parameters involved 
a e i capital omega small omega theta. So, out of this this five parameters are constant only this turns out to be a function of time. Okay, so, that gives us the solution trajectory, but if we are looking for this system. So, in that case all this parameter should vary as it is indicated here. If we are differentiating, so if, uh, x is the solution where the c 1 also dependent on time. So, c 1 dot will appear here in this fashion. For osculating trajectory we will set c 1 dot uh, cos t plus c 2 dot sin t this is equal to 0. For Keplerian orbit c 1 dot this equal to 0, c 2 dot equal to 0, c 3 dot equal to 0 and so on. Here in this case we are writing osculating trajectory means I am comparing this problem with the orbit problem. Okay. So, this is applicable for for the system x double dot plus x equal to 0. This must be true. Therefore, then we can write here d x by d t equal to dou x by d t because for the uh, for the osculating orbit osculating for the osculating orbit we can write like this d x by d t equal to dou x by dou t because it is only a function of the states not of the parameters the states are x here in this case x and x dot these, these are the two states of this system. So, therefore, for the osculating orbit d x by d t equal to dou x by dou t and the other part we write here the c 1 sin t plus c 2 cos t this is equation number 4 as in this part we have written here only this part will be present and this part will be 0. So, we are utilizing this information x dot equal to dou x by dou t plus dou x by dou c 1 dou x by dou c 2 times dou c 2 by dou t. This information we are utilizing. This is true for osculating orbit for which remember we are writing here in this fashion it is a only a function of time. Uh, the states are only the function of time not the parameters, parameters they turn out to be constants here. Okay. as we have discussed within the last lecture as the velocity at any point in the true trajectory is equal to the velocity at that point in the osculating trajectory. plus orbit. So, this implies that for osculating orbit we must have c 1 dot cos t plus c 2 dot sin t equal to 0 this we number as the equation number 5. 
which we have written here for oscillating trajectory c1 dot cos t c2 dot sin t must be zero this is our equation so in this equation this part must be zero if we are considering only oscillating orbit solution so this will represent oscillating orbit and this part is equal to zero then satisfied for the now next differentiating equation 4 which we have written as do x by do t equal to minus c1 sin t plus c2 cos t this was our equation 4 so we differentiate this with respect to time next differentiating equation 4 with respect to time and for the oscillating orbit we are representing this this is for oscillating orbit so if we are differentiating for the oscillating orbit we write it this way dt square because do x by do t will be completely will completely depend on states is states not on the parameters for the so thus we have this quantity we differentiate so this get as do a square x by do t a square and do x by and if this quantity we can write inside the bracket do x by do t do by do c1 plus do by do c2 do x by do t and times c1 dot and here also c2 dot now if we are writing like this so uh, this is what i am going to discuss what do i mean here okay so let me write this part first this is c1 dot this quantity we can write as x dot where x dot represents do x by do t in the sort we can represent it like this
so the, the way we have written here so here we are taking this differentiation so if at first we are assuming that this is depending on t and also on the variation of the parameters c1 c2 though we are doing for the oscillating orbit where c1 and c2 uh, for which the c1 and c2 are not taken care of uh, the differentiation is not taken with respect to the c1 and c2 but what is the reason we are taking for this it will be clear in the next step okay now we number this equation as 6 substitute this equation in equation 1 so what do we get there equation 1 was d square x by dt square plus x equal to rt okay. so if we substitute this here so we get this as do a square x by do t a square plus do x by do t plus c2 dot do x dot by c2 and plus x equal to r t. So, for the osculating orbit we must have this quantity equal to this quantity because ultimately this should emerge as see if, uh, let me write here first step then I will explain here this is for the oscillating orbit where this solution to this is not parameter dependent. So, if we insert this by differentiating it with respect to the parameter c and insert here in this equation in this equation and then set this quantity to write this quantity as do x dot do x dot by do c 2 equal to r t. So, if this is applicable then you can see that this gets reduced to this equation ok it will get reduced to this format means this is representing my osculating orbit. So, uh, the objective was to get only this re relationship to solve this problem particular problem okay. if we write here if we make this quantity as 0 that uh, this is not varying with respect to function of time uh, with respect to time. So, we do not get equation ok like if we go back you see here in this point. So, for the true trajectory this whole thing is applicable this whole equation. So, first we get this and thereafter what we do that we make this part equal to 0 for the true trajectory and th this we have done here in this place writing like this. So, we get one equation from this place which we have written as equation number 4 somewhere. Not uh, the equation number 5 this we have written as equation number 5. So, this thing we have written as equation number 5 here in this place. So, how we are getting we are getting that in the true trajectory we are making some part equal to 0 to fit it to the osculating trajectory. In the same way we are looking for solution for the osculating trajectory and then what we do this is the velocity in the osculating trajectory dou x by dou t. So, if we differentiate this so how it is going to appear. So, this is the velocity in the osculating trajectory velocity velocity in the osculating trajectory and if we differentiate it with respect to time. So, this will appear in this way. So, velocity in the osculating trajectory we are differentiate, differentiating with respect to time that gives me acceleration. Okay and this acceleration whatever we have got okay. then 
this we are going to because the velocity in the this quantity do x by do t in the do x by do t equal to d x by d t for true trajectory and the this part is very important for the true trajectory and the osculating traje trajectory do x by do t equal to d x by d t this is true okay, because in that part this is valid and because of this the uh, only one part is remaining which corresponds to the osculating trajectory. So, with this in mind we get this d a square x by d t a square. So, this is applicable to the true trajectory this is applicable to true trajectory, but we are trying to work for the osculating trajectory. So, velocity in the osculating trajectory if we differentiate with respect to time because at that point the velocity in the true trajectory and osculating trajectory both are the same. So, if we differentiate it we get the acceleration at that point and there we assume that the c 1 and c 2 they are variable and thereafter whatever the equation we get we insert here in this equation which was equation number 1. Okay. Once we insert this so we get this equation. Now, this equation this equation will be it will represent the osculating trajectory differential equation if and only if that means, the this is the osculating or orbit differential trajectory this is the osculating orbit differential trajectory. So, this it will represent this trajectory if and only if this quantity this uh, equation is satisfied this relationship is satisfied. So, in the next page we write that the c 1 dot dou x by dou c 1 plus c 2 dot dou x by dou c 2 equal to r t should be satisfied and this we write as equation number 6. But, uh, this is equation number uh, one more equation we have to name here. Uh, this we write as equation number 7 and this is 6 already we have named. And this we name as equation number 8. So, equation number 8 and equation number 4. So, what was the equation number 4 we have written earlier dou x by going back this part. So, from where this part is appearing this part is appearing from see this part is appearing from this place what I have indicated there somewhere we have written equation number 5 equation number 5 equation number 5 is written in here in this format, but I want to just represent in the differential format first. So, that part we have ok uh, let me write here itself this do x by do t this part we have to just remove the other part is do x by do c 1 times c 1 dot plus do x by do c 2 times c 2 dot this equal to 0 the other part is. So, this represents your equation number 5. So, rather than writing this 5 I will write this as the equation number 5 a ok because uh, this equation we were treating ok. What is your cos t immediately we can check here see let us go on this page. So, x equal to c 1 cos t plus c 2 sin t. If we differentiate dou by dou x 1 dou by dou c 1 this quantity then comes out to be cos t and dou x by dou c 2 this turns out to be sin t. And if we insert this quantities here in this equation. So, what we get cos t c 1 dot plus sin t 
c 2 dot this equal to 0 and what this equation is go back now and look here is this the same equation the fifth equation ok. So, this is representing your fifth equation in differential format and we utilize these two equations here to work out and we will remember that this is the relationship involved there. So, from 8 and 5 a equation 8 and 5 a can be written as we will take out c 1 and c 2 this part is 0 this part we are eliminating this part is not present ok. So, this I am removing only this part we are considering this equal to 0. So, we have c 1 dot dou x by dou c 1 plus c 2 dot dou x by dou c 2 this equal to r t here this is x dot this dot is missing here this dot is missing there was dot here. So, this dot was missing there. Okay. So, this dot is present and here in this equation we have c 1 dot times dou x by dou c 1 plus c 2 dot times dou x by dou c 2 equal to 0 okay. and in the matrix format we can write this as dou x dot by dou c 1 or uh, let us write first the lower equation. So, this can be written as dou x by dou c 1 and dou x by dou c 2 and then the upper one dou x dot by dou c 1 c 1 dot c 2 dot this equal to 0 r t. The solution to this matrix equation it can be written as c 1 c 2 dot equal to dou x by dou c 1 dou c 2 c 1 times dou x dot by dou c 2 times 0 r t with inverse here. So, we have to just take the inverse of this part. Then therefore, c 1 dot c 2 dot this gets reduced to so this will be dou x by dou c 2 dou x by dou c 2 and for this we will have Into dou x dot by dou c 1 dou c 1 with minus sign here ok. These are the first we are taking the cofactors and then we will take transpose of that and then for the this element this will be dou x by dou c 2 dou x by dou c 2 with minus sign and this will be dou x by dou c 1 with plus sign and we have to take the transpose of this and 0 r t. and this divided by the determinant of the matrix where delta equal to dou x by dou c 1 times dou x dot by dou c 2 
dou x by dou c1 times dou x dot by minus dou x by dou c2 times dou x dot by dou c1 times dou x by dou c2. Okay, so from this place, then we get C one dot C two dot one by delta. Taking transpose of this, do x dot by do C two minus do x dot by do C one. And then uh, this the last row, do x by do c two with minus sign, and do x by do c one zero R T. And solve this. So by solving, we get c one dot this equal to one by delta times. Minus do x by do c two r t and c two dot equal to one by delta do x by do c one times r t. So these are the two equations, differential equations we have got for C one and C two. So how these parameters will vary, we will know from this point. So we have C one dot here equal to do x by do C two R T and uh, Let us verify this. And C two dot equal to one by delta do x by do c one R T. Dou x by dou c two. This will come here. And this goes here. Do x by dt. Do x by dt. This is okay. So c1 dot equal to one by delta. Do x by do c two, c two dot one by delta, do x by do c one R T. And from here, now this is okay. So the quantity delta involved, do x by do c one and do x by do c two. These are the quantities which are present. Okay. So delta we can. Get from our previous uh, 
discussion. So, I will write here in this place uh, or maybe on the next page dou x by dou c 1 where x equal to c 1 cos t plus c 2 sin t. So, dou x by dou c 1 then becomes cos t and dou x by dou c 2 equal to sin t. Similarly, we have x dot equal to dou x by dou t equal to x dot we have written as this part was minus c 1 sin t plus c 2 cos t. Okay. This was the equation. So, from here we get dou x dot by dou c 1 equal to minus sin t and dou x dot by dou c 2 equal to cos t. So, we utilize this information and insert in the solutions we have get got here. So, this is 10 and this is 11. Inserting in 10 and 11, first we calculate delta. So, delta equal to dou x by dou c 1 and dou x dot by dou c 2. So, dou x by dou c 1 from this place we have cos t and dou x dot by dou c 2 is cos t. So, this is cos square t and then minus dou x by dou x dot by dou c 1 uh, minus dou x by dot by dou c 1 is equal to minus sin t and times the quantity here dou x by dou c 2 dou x by dou c 2 is uh, sin t. So, that gets reduced to cos square t plus sin square t this equal to 1. So, this is your delta. Therefore, uh, the equation number 10 and 11. So, equations 10 and 11 get reduced to c 1 dot equal to dou x minus dou x by dou c 2 minus dou x by dou c 2 sin t times r t and c 2 dot similarly gets reduced to dou x by dou c 1 dou x by dou c 1 is cos t cos t r t and if we integrate it we get this as c 1 equal to minus sin t r t d t plus some constant a and c 2 equal to cos t r t d t plus some constant b. So, this is the solution. So, how the parameter is various varying with time we get through a, a very simple example of taking x double dot plus x equal to r t. Therefore, in our original equation where we have d a square r by d t a square plus mu by r q r equal to this is the perturbing function which we write as a function of r here r is a function of t. So, okay. so therefore, in this case also the parameters which are involved the c 1, c 2 or say the a e i etcetera they will vary with time and they can be estimated using this method. Okay. But it is a long procedure and uh, we have to work it out patiently. So, we stop at this stage. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, we will meet again in the next lecture.